this regarding New York Times. And I feel like I really resonate with this. So this is regarding, this is regarding the QR code menus, which I've always fucking hated. Not sure about you guys, but QR code menus at restaurants have always been a bane of my existence. They only kind of started, I think, since the pandemic, because of course, you know, there was this idea that you could give somebody COVID if you touched a bit of paper, you sneezed on it, handed it to them, fucking nonsense. But then <clears throat> you could sit outside in these fucking indoor sheds. The co honestly, the COVID world that we lived in was fucking insane, right? You couldn't have a paper menu to read through to pick your fucking shit that you want to eat, but you could sit in these technically outdoor dining area things that were enclosed. What? So if I'm sneezing all over the place and I'm coughing all over the place, I can get everybody infected, but God forbid I have a bit of A4 paper with the fucking a la carte menu on it because somebody might fucking faint and have an heart attack. Come on, do me a favor. Anyway, New York Times, the QR code menu is being shown the door and I'm super happy about it. Um, subtext says, a dining innovation that once looked like the future has worn, its, worn out its welcome with many restaurants, um, customers and servers say it takes the joy out of dining, which I 100% agree with. There aren't many moments in your life day to day where you have some forced moments where you can put your phone away. There's not many moments in life, generally. Your phone is always next to you. It's always in your pocket. It's always near you, which makes people excuses that, oh, I didn't see your message. Oh, I didn't, which makes it hilarious because most people are always on their phones. Not me, because I'm always fucking reading, as you can see and stuff, right? So I have a lot of time away from my phone watching movies and documentaries and shit, fair enough. And I have to keep my phone on silent. But most people have notifications on. Most people's phones are in their hands, blah, -de blah, blah, blah. So when you go to a restaurant, when you go to the movies, whatever it may be, when you go to the theater, these are some rare moments in one's life where you don't need to have your phone in your hand all the time. And I felt like when the QR code thing happened, it kind of forced you to start using your phone again when you're eating dinner. One of the things I hate the most when you go to dinner with somebody is when they always keep their phone up looking as you're sitting down having something to eat. It always feels like a barrier of connection. It always feels like they're looking for an exit. It's like an exit fucking door, looking for them to kind of get out the situation because they don't want to be here <coughs> as long as maybe that you want to do and you don't get a chance to actually enjoy the moment sit in it eat connect whatever it may be enjoy the ambiance and for the most part restaurants right they're all the same they all serve food you know unless you go into high-end ones the food usually for the most part in most popular metropolitan cities the food's always going to be like a six to you know out of ten anyway so the food's generally going to be good what actually separates the the shit ones from the great ones is the ambiance, the interior, the music, the sounds of the people talking, the fucking scents, the flowers, whatever. All that shit adds to the experience. But you can't enjoy that if you're just on your phone. Which is why I've always kind of had a hard time getting around the idea of these restaurants that have those neon lights, those kind of Instagrammable kind of walls where you can take selfies of yourself and stuff. That makes really no sense because it immediately changes the whole vibe and atmosphere of a restaurant. It makes it just, you know, it's, as, as if it's, it's not really an immersive space anymore. It makes it very distracting. But the major thing that I said before is I think the QR code menu thing, it just takes away the connection. There was a there's a kind of paragraph here in this article written by Amelia Nirenberg. So big up Amelia, which from New York Times, where he mentioned something about feel. I can get it up on you. Let's see. I think it was something about feel. Something, yeah, there we go. There you go. There you go. So here, um, it says here. Do, 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 do. So the motivation for the about face is quite simple. Restaurateur says diners just hate the QR code menus. They are almost universally disliked, <laughs> right? In all restaurants, they are almost universally disliked, which I definitely agree with. One reason is etiquette. Everyone knows it's rude to take your phone out of the table, but that's what a digital menu demands. And having to make a special request for a paper menu is awkward. No one wants to be that guy. Exactly. People don't want to be that guy so much, they'd rather pull out their phone and sit there across from somebody they're having dinner with looking at the fucking menu and i'm not sure about you but sometimes i feel like menu food hits different when it's on paper it just looks worse sometimes i've looked at a menu of a restaurant on my phone i've decided what i want to eat then i've gone to the restaurant in person had the paper menu in my hand and be like you know what i don't want that i'm gonna change my mind the menu the font the fucking little price without the fucking denomination and shit all that stuff kind of hits different when you're actually in the fucking space so imagine what 
a phone does when you're forced to pull out your phone and then you have to go through the whole QR code thing because I'm quite tech savvy. I can I know my way around a computer. I know my way around a smartphone. But for some reason, every time I see a QR code, I fucking flinch. What am I meant to do? Like, use my phone to scan it like that? Like a fucking, like a, I don't know, like a cordless battery charger thing? Am I meant to scan? I'm meant to scan it on my camera. Like what am I meant to do? Turn on, like it took a while to figure out. Okay, I got to open my camera. Then I got to take a picture. Then the video. And then sometimes you go to restaurants. I'm not sure about you, but you know my network isn't the greatest. And sometimes the restaurants I go to are in like three G dead zones, or they're in basements, so there's not good network. So you're trying to get it up on your phone. It's not working, and then you don't want to ask the server because they looked already stressed and running around. It's just an absolute nightmare. Anyway, it continues. Another drawback to the coded menu is its feel. As the pandemic ebbs, restaurants are trying to coax people to eat out. The seduction of a dining room is part of the get. Dusky, um, candlelit, and uninterrupted eye-to-eye conversation. A QR code can kill the mood. Phones up, blue lights on, conveniently off. Exactly. I agree with that. It continues. The bottom line is the QR code is the antithesis of romance, said Richard Boccato, the owner of Dutch Kills Bar in Long Island City. It hinders communication and it hinders intimacy. The bar dropped its coded menus in summer 2021. The moment that it was okay for us to get back to the proper menu, he said, his main objection to them, as a menu is a window, is a soul of a restaurant and a QR code has no soul. 100% agree. That menu on a window is one of the easiest ways to kind of gauge the vibe of a restaurant. And it's such a clever way to get people to kind of look up close to the restaurant. Because usually when you go to restaurants, people enjoy sitting on the seats around the edge, not really in the middle sometimes in the base or maybe next to a window because it's kind of romantic. And also if it's a bustling restaurant, you're going to have people moving around, you're going to have the bar, people handing cocktails and shit. And if you see a nice restaurant menu in a nice fucking LED box, you know, on the side of the fucking window, very elegantly placed next to the door so you can peek in if you want to, but you get a chance to see all the cool people on the inside, the vibe, the ambiance. And then you also see no blue lights, no flashing phones. It actually helps and adds to the atmosphere. So imagine what fucking QR code does. That fucking horrible, um, weird, dotted, pigmented thing here in the middle. It's just horrible on the window. I fucking hate it. So I'm happy that they're now being scrapped. I really am. So the article is really cool anyway, regardless. Very um, interesting article to check out. Courtesy of the New York Times. It's titled, The QR Code Menu is Being Shown the Door by a Lady Called Amelia Nirenberg. Check it out if it's available wherever you are. Check it out if it's available wherever you are.